Kingdom Pattern Keep your garment clean Revelation 7 verse 14 And I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation, and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The washing of robes is a metaphor for purification from uncleanliness, the uncleanliness means sin. Jesus Christ provided a lesson about spiritual cleansing by washing his disciples' feet. John 13 verse 1 to 15 Righteousness is a robe attained by faith in Jesus Christ, not works, and it is only Jesus Christ's blood that washes away sin. A person's sins need to be first washed away before being clothed with the robe of righteousness. Isaiah 61 verse 10 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation, he has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Put on your garment of righteousness. Parable of the Marriage Feast Matthew 22 verse 1 to 14 And when the king came in to see the guests, which represent the members of the visible church, he saw there a man who was not wearing a wedding garment. It was traditional in the eastern countries for kings and princes to present the guests at marriages, and other solemnities, with garments wherein they were to appear, and it was regarded as an evidence of the wealth and magnificence of the giver. This king, therefore, having invited so many from the lanes and hedges and highways, who could never have provided themselves with appropriate garment in which to make their appearance at this marriage feast. According to the practice of the country, each guest must apply to the ruler of the feast, to be presented with a proper garment, so that they might all be clothed in a way that is acceptable to the magnificence of the solemnity of the feast. However, this man either neglected to apply, or refused to accept and put on the garment that was offered him, this incidence rendered his conduct reprehensible. God offers every one of us the same opportunity to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, and be clothed with a garment of righteousness, it is unwise and reprehensible to neglect such a great a favor. Those that walk unworthy of Christ. Many are called to the wedding feast, in other words, called to salvation, but few have the wedding garment, which is the righteousness of Christ, the sanctification of the Spirit. Therefore, let us examine ourselves whether we are in the faith, and seek to be approved by God. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5 Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith, test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless, of course, you fail the test? Do not allow the things of this world to take your garment away from you. Are you salt and light? Being salt and light is a metaphor. Matthew 5 verse 13 to 14 You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. In carrying out Jesus' instruction to be like salt and light to the world, Christians have to show that they are interested in improving the communities in which they live. Salt is a preservative, it can prevent decay. In like manner, the instruction that Jesus Christ gave his followers to carry to people in all nations has a preserving influence. Additionally, Christians who apply Jesus' teachings protect themselves from the moral decay that is common today. We are to avoid practices that are harmful to our spiritual lives, but to develop such qualities as love, peace, long-suffering, kindness, and goodness which make a Christian an asset to society. Metaphor of Light the followers of Jesus Christ are to reflect the light from God, just as the moon reflects the light from the sun. Jesus explained the comparison between being a light and being a disciple of Jesus. He said people light a lamp and set it upon the lampstand, and it shines its light upon all those in the house. In the same manner, let your light shine before men. Similarly, the conducts and other good works that true Christians perform should be clearly visible to those living around them. Just like the shining lamp placed upon a lampstand is clearly visible to all those around it, 
those who see the good works of a true Christian will give glory to God. Matthew 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Not of the world. We should train ourselves for godliness and to be imitators of God. 1 Timothy 4 verse 7. But reject profane and old wives' fables, and exercise yourself toward godliness. Ephesians 5 verse 1. Therefore be imitators of God as dear children. True Christians should have nothing to do with ungodliness, and avoid association with the workers of darkness. Ephesians 5 verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. The kingdom imposes conditions on us, and we must bear its fruits. To enter the kingdom, we have a particular kind of clothing to wear to the feast. It is the white garment of righteousness. Apostle Paul wrote, we must put on compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, and the like, as God's chosen ones, holy, and beloved. Colossians 3 verse 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. Isaiah 61 verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall be joyful in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation, he has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, which means separation from God, the source of life. Romans 3:23 We cannot earn our salvation for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will He died in our place and as our substitute paying for our sins He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom If you truly repent from evil ways believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern At www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.